So Copy in Time is week two of the Year of Songs, so two of 52. And it's funny because I wasn't super excited about releasing it, but it's actually become one of my favorites. So Copy in Time is about running into somebody that you don't really know like at all, like don't know anything about each other personally, but for some reason they know everything about how you should um, handle your life and your business. <laughs> and most of the time, like I think people think they're helping um, and I think their intent is good and I try to think about this, but on this particular day I was like, you know, I think you're just rude and I don't think that counts. <laughs> So I wrote this song about that, feeling a little bit, um, a little bit sassy about a judgy person. I wish I would have actually been sassy in person. That would have been way better, but at least I wrote a song about it <laughs> that they'll never know or listen to. I also feel like with this song, I learned kind of a cool creative thing. So when we were recording this, we had just recorded Wolf. And I was like, yes, year of songs, I am so in. And then we started recording this one. And um, and just for a little backstory, throughout the year I planned out the songs and dispersed my favorite ones throughout the month so it's not like all my favorites and then it goes downhill fast or something like that. So it's kind of um, my least favorites and my favorites all mixed in for each month. Wolf was my favorite for January, so we recorded it. I was so stoked, Year of Songs is gonna be great, I'm awesome, and then we started recording this song, and I struggled, I really struggled, because I just had the realization that like, it's not gonna be everything in the world that I want it to be, and every song that I release isn't gonna be the most amazing song, like that's just not how it is, and the point of this year was me being vulnerable and seen, and I just have to, accept this song for what it is and accept myself too. That, I mean, that's a real thing. It's not like I'm frustrated about the song. It's a song. I need to accept my place in it all. Um, and it's funny because I actually wrote like a little like blog post about it. Um, what I wrote was just talking about accepting things not being perfect and that they don't like reflect on you and all of that good stuff, which is good to realize. But it was the coolest thing because when I released the song, I started to love it. And it was almost like before that, I was holding on to it. And this sounds strange, but it almost feels like it wasn't ever mine. I don't know. It's almost like I was making it a part of myself, but it was always meant to be released. It, art is always meant to be shared. It's not meant to be held in. And so the minute I shared it and put it out into the world, regardless of like how I felt about it, I felt, I don't know, I felt like I could enjoy it um, and I saw it for itself as a song and took, I guess, really my ego out of it because it didn't feel like mine anymore. And that's kind of the interesting thing about sharing um, art is that it, it's not yours anymore and that's a weird feeling but also a good feeling. Like that's a feeling I thought I would be sad about but I actually enjoyed it. Something about letting go of that song, even though it wasn't perfect, allowed me to like really enjoy it and start to like it and it's actually like one of my um, favorites so far. It's become one of my favorites um, which is kind of surprising. So, so I guess with this song in particular, besides you know getting out like resentment, <laughs> I really learned to just create and to just share it without overthinking because it's meant to be shared. It's not meant to be held on to and it's not really yours anyway. We create art for it to go in the world and for other people to enjoy it and it doesn't change in any way who I am, what kind of art it is. It needs to be shared and it was almost like releasing that allowed me to feel so much more creativity. And I don't know, I guess I realized that I think the all the songs that I thought were never good enough to release and all of the anything that I haven't done because it wasn't good enough, it doesn't really go away. Like those songs you don't finish don't go away, they just sit there and take up creative space because they started for a reason and they need to be finished regardless of your, your quality and it's not, or regardless of the quality. Um, and it's not my job to judge it, it's my job to show up and create in it. So yeah, that's Coffee and Time. Um, it's a little bit sassy and I hope you like it. If you haven't heard it, 
I'll link it um, and check back every Monday. But it actually might move to Fridays, so just just check back. <laughs>